right, guys, we do have the next match set up for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at how game one's gonna be playing out here. We do see a Cindy ban from two and a half Canadians, and we also see a Rapunzel ban from BAP to opting to play on noon for their map choice. And we do see uh, newbies actually coming out of both sides. The first newbie picks we've seen all night so far. Two and a half Canadians opting for Nui, Peter, and Ravi versus the Nui, Alice, and Peter picks of BAP. Just waiting now for our players to load into the lobby, but we'll definitely want to be keeping an eye on the Nui's here, seeing what kind of impact they can have on the match. Nui, a very, very annoying character to fight against. Absolutely. Everybody knows, everybody knows it. Everybody knows to hate her. And we'll just have to see what they're able to do moving into this match. Right, let's go ahead and take a look over at the lobby while we just wait for the last of our players to load in here. All right, so we do see Sky joining up in the lobby now. Just going to double check and make sure that these are the picks that they had recorded originally, and they do appear to be. So we'll be going ahead and getting straight on into game one here of Bat versus two and a half Canadians starting out on noon. Let's get right into game one and see how this match will go for them. Both teams here, very strong teams, very well-known teams. All right, let's go ahead and get this match underway. Browns and Bloody both finding bombs for themselves. Uh, Noodles getting very far into the opposing team's side to be able to place that Nui skill. Another one coming out of Noodles, able to put pressure onto them. Archiel holding on to it for now, dropping it in the corner there to try to pressure Noodles, but Sky and Noodles able to find that kill. Bloody also dropping now. Pocket with a Peter ultimate as he comes back to objective, able to find a connection there onto Browns to find that kill. And now Archiel able to find the kill onto Noodles, claiming the objective immediately after uh, two and a half Canadians claiming their first point. Right now, Archiel finding some good damage, but Brown's finding a kill on the pocket. Archiel unfortunately missing that Nui ultimate, but Bloody finding a double knockback onto two and a half Canadian Sky now looking for an opportunity here towards Archiel, but getting caught there. Brown's now going to get caught by that deadly combo. Nui's single ground attack into ultimate being a true combo if done properly. Pocket able to find a health potion for himself, but Sky getting a lot of damage with that Peter ultimate and taking both uh, players off of the objective so the two and a half Canadians can reclaim. Now Browns and Sky left to defend. Noodles on his way back in, able to land, not able to land a Nui skill actually, but an ultimate trading into Archiel, but getting picked up by Bloody. Archiel now looking to defend a position here. Pocket pushing Browns off. Bloody taking a reset. We'll have to see if two and a half Canadians is able to capitalize on that. It does look like they get really good damage onto Pocket, who does pull their Peter ultimate now. Noodles looking for something huge here. Needs to make a play soon. They can't keep holding this ultimate. They need to get it out. Bloody now going to drop actually to Browns' Ravi ult, able to reclaim the point for his team. Two and a half Canadians in control, two points to three with a minute 15 left on the clock. Noodles now getting some good damage onto Pocket, but we do see an ult come out of Archiel, able to get the kill onto Sky OG. Browns not able to find his way back in in time, the point falling to Bap once again. Pocket now getting getting uh, sniped there by Brown, spiked on down to the pit. Noodles finding the pushback onto Archiel. Brown's finding a great ultimate onto Bloody Sky now. Noodles defending gets the damage, but Brown's going to end up dropping to Pocket there with the assistance of Archiel. One game for Bap goes up 1-0 in the set against two and a half Canadians.
All right, we'll have to see if they're wanting to make any changes here to the match or if they're going to just run it back on noon with the same teams. Let's see if any any decisions are being made here. It doesn't appear to have anything in the chat yet, and I haven't seen any messages from the players. Looks like they may have just been taking a little bit of time to figure out what they were wanting to do. Bloody opting for a switch to Wolfgang. See if they want to do anything in response to the Wolfgang pick. No changes being made. We will be running back on noon. The only change being the Wolfgang pick. Let's go ahead and run straight on into game two here of Bat versus Two and a Half Canadians. A reminder: the losing team is eliminated, while the winning team will proceed in the loser side to face off against Bra in round in loser semifinals. All right, let's see here. Bloody finding a bomb early. Noodles as well. Not able to find any damage with it, though. Bloody will find damage probably onto Noodles. Maybe not. Looks like he's holding the bomb for a while. Catches it onto Browns there. Sky taking a ton of damage. Going very low early here. We do see a new ult ready from Archie. He'll finds it onto Browns. But Noodles, unfortunately, not able to stall just long enough. Bloody able to push and hold him out of the objective. Sky OG looking for damage onto Archil does find it, but Archil with that new ultimate finding huge damage in response. Noodles picking up a kill onto Pocket. All they need to do now is get Bloody out of the objective and they'll be able to take a claim here, but not able to do so. Browns uh, with the Ravi ultimate ready does opt to use it there to get the kill onto Pocket. Will it be enough though? Doesn't appear to just yet, but Sky OG with that ultimate, unfortunately countered by the Nui ultimate. A very powerful ult if used properly. Noodles dropping to pocket. And we see Browns getting some damage onto Archil, but not quite enough just yet. We'll have to see if Pocket's able to do anything. That Peter ultimate pushing everybody off the point. They do take game two, 4 0 over two and a half Canadians. A very dominant performance coming out from them this game. The Wolfgang pick seeming to work out really well for them. All right, let's see if there's any changes being made going into game three here. Not sure if we really will, but we'll have to see what opportunities they may take. See if two and a half Canadians is wanting to switch characters or if the map change will be enough. It looks like Browns will be switching off of Ravi, taking Alice and Sky coming off of Peter to Kaiser, playing a composition that uh, you guys may be very familiar with, Nui, Alice, and Kaiser. Um, an alternative to this being Nui Rapunzel and Kaiser, which was played obviously by my team in the global tournament, but this team also seeing a lot of action uh, in the ranked queue lately as well. Just waiting now on Sky OG to reconnect and ready up, and then we'll be getting straight on in to game three. See if these changes are going to be enough for two and a half Canadians to find a victory or if BAP will be able to just show their prowess with mechanics of the game and a basic understanding to such a level that applies a ton of pressure to any team they face off against. Okay, it does look like Sky is readied up now. So we'll be heading on into game three of this best of five set. BAP only needing one game, two and a half Canadians needing to take three in a row if they want to stay alive in this tournament. Let's go ahead and see if these changes are going to be enough for them to find a victory here. Alright, we do see a bomb in Archiel's hand. No bomb the way of 
two and a half Canadians. Noodles looking for damage on the pocket here. Sky OG getting worked in the corner by Bloody. Extremely low already. Does find a good Kaiser Punch, but the point almost dropping to Bap, and it actually does in the end here. Pocket and Archil both with ultimates ready to go. Pocket opting to use it, unfortunately not finding anything with it, and actually messing up the ultimate from Archil, but not really mattering. They are still able to keep control of the objective. Archil now going to drop to Sky. Sky OG now with that Kaiser ultimate looking for some opportunities here. Ops not to steal the potion. I think it may have been a good idea for him at this at this time to take that away from the opposing team. However, not a decision he was wanting to make at the time. The objective almost falling again to bat, but fortunately, two and a half Canadians able to get in just in time. Noodles with a Nui ult ready to go. Catches pocket with it. Brown's now looking for a stun onto Bloody. Needs to be able to hold this point down. May look for an ultimate opportunity. Finds it onto Archil, but pocket able to catch and pull him off of the objective. Sky OG now coming back with an ultimate, but it getting melted away by that Nui. Definitely uh, Nui being a, a great counter for Kaiser. Always has been and will remain to be in the meta until some balance changes are made if ever sky og now looking for a way back into this objective rounds trying to contest alone they both though get pushed off by that peter skill of pocket finding a double stun now browns and noodles finding a great bomb onto bloody and archiel able to take control of the objective a much closer game than before. Going to be 3-3 in just a moment here if they're able to hold on to the objective. Noodles using the Nui ult now to counter a Peter ultimate. Sky OG though dropping Noodles getting caught by the aftermath of that ultimate as well. Archil now with another ultimate ready. Nui just an ultimate machine at this point. Sky OG looking to charge his ultimate and Browns finding a great opening onto Bloody to claim the objective for his team. Sky looking for an opportunity onto Pocket. A team combo coming out of two and a half Canadians to get a bunch of damage onto Pocket and actually ending a stock there for him. Archil now stalling for time for Pocket to get back Pocket with a Peter ultimate to find all that damage onto Sky OG. Not able to kill him just yet. If they're able to get the damage here, they could find a victory. Archil able to stall above the objective for so long. Browns though finding the kill on the pocket and Archil unfortunately stalling just outside of the objective. Two and a half Canadians walking away with that victory. The first match they've won this entire set. The changes definitely appearing to have mattered here. We'll have to see if BAP wants to change map at all or if they're wanting to play it out on Sunset. See if BAP wants to take any character changes here. They are choosing to swap now. Let's see what they want to take as their characters. They're going to be running Nui, Alice, and Peter. Bloody now, though, going to be the Nui, I believe, and Archil may be looking at taking the Alice. An interesting change here, shifting who's going to be piloting their Nui to Bloody instead, and Archil taking the Alice instead of game one, where we actually saw Bloody on Alice and Archil playing Nui. We're going to be swapping pilots here, so let's see how that plays out for them going into game four. Alright guys, game four of BAP versus two and a half Canadians. A reminder that if BAP wins this game, that will be the tournament life of two and a half Canadians extinguished with BAP moving on. However, BAP does still have opportunities here and a great opening from them actually. Noodles finding huge damage on the pocket, a good bomb onto Archiel and Bloody. Pocket actually dropping to Sky OG here. And Brown's able to find some good damage again onto, uh, I believe that was Bloody, who got pushed off the objective. And the first claim did go the way of two and a half Canadians. Will they get the first physical points? It appears like they may. Sky OG able to hold on just long enough, dying now, but able to get that first point for his team. Archiel 
very low. Going to be opting for a reset now. Pocket and Bloody left to control the objective. Brown's not able to find that hit onto Bloody, but the Nui ultimate getting wasted there, unfortunately. Brown's looking for an opportunity and coming up short, unfortunately. Archil finding a stun onto Noodles, which should end up resulting in his death, actually. Very, very low. Noodles having to either reset or come back, choosing to play a stall position, but going to just end up falling to the Nui ground attacks. Sky OG now walking back into the objective may opt for an ultimate soon here. He does. But the Peter ultimate coming out able to control that. Sky OG now looking to try and get control of this for his team, but having a very hard time doing so. Able to push Bloody out though, right as I'm saying that. Gets the objective playing for his team. Bloody opting not to try to come back and just taking the reset on his health. Brown's pushing Pocket off of the objective now. Bloody finding good damage onto Noodles and Sky missing a punch onto Archil. That may end up being a huge factor here, keeping Archil relevant. Browns with an Alice ultimate, but getting countered immediately, and a triple kill coming out the side of that bloody finding two and Archil with the third there. Putting pressure into the spawn points of two and a half Canadians, but Sky OG able to come back here with that Kaiser ultimate running. No mine available from the Alice for one more second here. May come up very soon. Gonna be stunning Sky OG, bloody finding damage, but Sky OG able to push Archil back just long enough for his team to claim the objective once again. Pocket looking for as much damage as possible. Does have his ultimate ready. Not able to use it though. Sky OG catching him out of the air. Noodles taking a lot of damage here, but finding a good Nui skill onto bloody. Sky OG very low. Brown's looking to counter with a, an Alice ult and does actually find it. Archil getting pushed back and we're 2-2 in the set. We're all tied up going into game five of this loser side match. Just for the, to, to be able to make a game five victory here. They are opting to switch Alice out for Ravi now. We'll have to see how that change is going to affect them. It definitely should. The Ravi uh, ultimate able to put on a lot more damage to Kaiser. It looks like this composition is mostly going for opportunities onto Kaiser as well as uh, dealing with Nui a little bit better. Not too much, but Ravi does have a little bit of pressure to apply to Nui. Let's go ahead and see what will happen for this game five match. Right, game five now of BAP versus two and a half Canadians. This match decides it all. We'll have to see, will that change from Archiel be able to make something happen here? Or will two and a half Canadians be able to ride this newfound momentum of theirs and find a victory? A lot of damage onto Bloody Early Pocket as well, getting picked up in that. And Archiel going very low as well there. Pocket now taking some damage from that Nui ability, and the first claim does go the way of two and a half Canadians, but very low health. We'll have to see if Browns is able to do anything here, dying very uh, quick after that claim, the point going back the way of BAP. Now Sky OG coming into the point, Nui now coming over top, uh, Noodles on Nui there. Pocket getting worked, getting very low health there. If he's able to find a kill onto Bloody though, they do take the objective in Pocket, forced to go take a reset. Looks like Sky OG does get the uh, ult charger and actually finds a lot of damage onto Archil off on the side. Archil taking the launch pad, able to get back over the objective. Sky OG with his ultimate going now. We should see a Ravi ultimate. We do. Noodles now looking to play for a stall left all alone. 1v3 as Nui definitely can do it though. Ultimate right there for stall time. We'll have to see if Sky and his teammate are able to get back. Unfortunately not. Noodles looking to play a little bit more stally there. Finds a kill onto Pocket. The point almost flipping. Bloody and Archiel left to control the point. And unfortunately they step out and end up dropping control of the point to two and a half Canadians. Noodles now looking for opportunities here. Sky OG getting put very low. Does have the Kaiser ultimate but going to opt not to use it this life as it would have resulted in a very quick death. Noodles looking for an opportunity here, not finding it. Brown's getting Peter ulted off of the point completely solo there. Sky OG now ulting, gonna get caught by Archiel's ultimate. Bloody finding an amazing Nui ultimate, catching Brown's and Sky OG. Noodles not there in time to help keep control. 
pretty low health side of BAP, about half HP for all their members. Archeo now finding a potion though. Brown's finding a really good stun there. Sky OG though, not quick enough to the trigger to be able to follow up on that. Does find a kill onto Bloody. Will they find the push onto Archeo here? If they do, that could be game. Catches the Peter ultimate. Not enough damage though. They need to kill Archeo here. He cannot stay alive. If he does, they won't get the objective and Bloody now only one good ultimate placement away from winning this game for his team. Sky OG able to make it back just in time to push Pocket off the objective, getting that ultimate. Will they be able to push Bloody now? It looks like they're attempting to, but not quite able to, but able to sneak the point out from underneath him. Sky OG with a pretty good health pool still during this Kaiser ultimate, but getting caught by the Peter ult and unfortunately not super armoring it. So they do get pushed completely off of the objective. Archeo now finding a potion. Very healthy team coming from BAP. And Sky OG with an ultimate ready. Will he opt to use it off of this jump pad? It looks like he will. No Alice able to stun him there anyways. We do see Archeo though with a good push onto him. He will need to super armor both of these ultimates to survive. Brown's now on the objective. We do need to see Noodles get back in time. Does manage to sneak underneath Archeo. If they're able to flip the point now, that will be game over. Sky OG with the ultimate. And they do manage to flip the point. The match goes 3-2 in favor of two and a half Canadians. BAP unfortunately eliminated from the event. Wow, what a game. What an ending. What a story. What an incredible match. Going down 2-0 in the set and then making this adjustment and being able to come back all the way to a last second victory in game five.